Hello, rollers. Hello, friends and family. Hope you guys can hear us over the air conditioner. It's so hot outside, it's so hot inside, so we're just going to let it run. Uh, but, uh, we have not, uh, I don't think we've posted any videos since Shotzi passed away. Uh, we, again, wanted to thank everybody for their uh, sympathies. She was a great dog. We miss her very much. But anyway, we've been uh, full-timing approximately six months. And um, most of it in the Lance. And we, while this is not exactly a six-month update per se, it's a six-month um, review of what's going on with us and our full time. So, while we were in um, Illinois, um, after our dog passed away, um, I don't know if homesick is the right word, but we, we just were homesick for Texas, I guess, and wanted to come, come home. And um, so we started looking for houses. We still want to RV, but we would like to have a home base. So if we want to take some time and rest, we can, and then we can just RV whenever we want. So we found um, a house in Whitney, Texas, and I'll let Dwight tell you the story of what happened there. It was a uh, big metal building, kind of like a barn dominium, and it was... Uh, The, the home was kind of built underneath the big metal barn dominium roof and then over to the side of the home was a big area big enough for a, a, a trailer bigger than ours. Uh, about five blocks away from Lake Whitney. Yeah, it was about five blocks away from the lake. It was an RV community and it was an over 55 community which we qualify for that. World. <laughs> and Linda, she just happened to come across that, woke up in the middle of the night and looked. So we called the real estate agent uh, that we had communicated with and he drove an hour and a half to look at it. He shot a video. He gave us his honest opinion. He said, this is a good deal. We said, I think they were asking 189. Uh, um, 199. 199? I forget. Anyway, it was reasonable reasonably price, and so we offered full asking price. And we were in southern Illinois at the time, and so we told him, look, we're due to stay other places and be back in Texas in October, but what we'll do is we'll cancel those reservations and we'll head back to Texas, and we'll make it in two days. So we'll leave on Friday and then get into Texas on Saturday, and we'll be able to look at the property on Sunday. So we drove 400 miles and got into... About 20 or so miles west of Little Rock, Arkansas. We got a one night campsite. We left the truck hooked up. As soon as we uh, opened the door and sat down, literally we had been there about five or ten minutes, my phone rang. They sold it out from under us. They sold it to somebody else. Yep. But that's okay. Not meant not meant for us. So there we were. Already halfway here. Halfway between Illinois and Central Texas. And we didn't want to turn around and go back. We so, both, you know, I guess people like what they're used to. And we love Texas and we're from Texas. And, you know, people complain about the Texas weather, but I can tell you one thing right now. Uh, I've been in Rochester, New York a long time ago in the summer. We were in Tennessee this in the summer. We were in Kentucky, Illinois, and Indiana. And it is... Just as hot, if not hotter, and even more humid there than it is here. It seemed more humid there than it is right here in Texas. It may be close to 100 degrees outside, but it's lower humidity, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't feel that bad. Yeah. So anyway, long story short, here we are. Central Texas. So. Currently we're at Live Oak Ridge. I think, you know, losing our Shotzi girl kind of 
took a little bit of wind out of our sails and we just kind of want to take a break right now so we're looking for a home base. We both decided, we've been talking about this for months really, uh, even before Shotzi passed away that we wanted a home we, base. We wanted a home base. We were looking in Tennessee but we didn't find anything that we liked. And <clears throat> so anyway, we're back in basically central Texas. Uh, we found a full time RV park and we actually Linda called them as we were driving back here uh, Friday. They had one space just opening up uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow on the 1st. They're supposed to leave tonight and it'll be available tomorrow morning. Uh, $4.50 a month which includes your water, your electric, full hookups, cable. They have a full laundry facility, uh, bathrooms, showers, uh, all five-star reviews. Um, the lady that owns it, manages it, takes care of it. She built it. She lives in a house up on the hill so she can be close by. And, and she tries to keep the rift raft out, keep everything quiet. So we're so, going um, to give it a try. Anyway, we're paying for a month there tomorrow. We're, yeah, we're leaving Lake Belton tomorrow morning. We paid for one month to stay there. Um, we had lined up about 12 houses to look at in this area. It's about an hour away from where we used to live, but smaller city, less traffic, more affordable, definitely more affordable. But we lined up 12 houses and 10 of them? 10 of them sold. 10 of them sold. Before Monday. Already. So we were down to two houses to look at, and our realtor found two more houses, um, which are still actually being built. They're not even done, they're not completed uh, in the build process yet. Probably it'll be another two or three months. So we went and we looked. Looked at all four houses. We looked houses. at the older houses that needed work, that were more expensive. They were bigger. Nice, but they needed. Uh, both of them needed, I'd say, twenty to thirty thousand dollars worth of work. Maybe more. Even more. Um, and on top of the asking price, that would have been well over our budget. And we decided, let's go look at the uh, two houses that are being built. They're already built, but they, they, you know, they don't have the floors or the tubs or toilets or anything like that yet. They're built where you can kind of walk through them, but you have to use your imagination as to what they're going to look like. And um, Yeah, the walls are up. The painter was there today. The painter was there. You know, they're, they've got to put the carpet and the floors down. The... So, one was on a corner lot, three bedroom, two bath, uh, about 1,250 square feet, maybe a little smaller. Um, the driveway and garage is on the side and there's no HOA uh, we did contact the, the builder contacted the city for us and they will allow us to pour a second concrete slab slab driveway and put up a uh, metal RV port metal RV port and park our RV and then they'll even gate it all for us and close it up for us nice and tidy um, we liked that one a lot because of the ability to keep our RV there. We went and looked at the second one, which was 30,000, 20,000 more? About 30,000 more. 30,000 more, but it was bigger, but it was sandwiched into the middle of the neighborhood. And so there was no way to get an RV Nowhere in the backyard. The RV. And so. so we went back and looked at the little one again on the corner lot. It's in a tiny little town, only 15,000 people. But it has all the major stores that we're used to shopping in. Other than that, it's just a little town, not much to do, a lot less traffic, definitely more affordable. And so, anyway, we put a bid in on it. We put it. We put a asking bid asking price. Uh, it was actually less than anything we've looked at for a brand new for home. For a brand new home, so we're hoping you know no problems uh, for a long, long time. We don't have to fix anything. We'll be able to uh, put in a, a concrete slab, a metal car, or RV port. They will uh, sod uh, both the front yard and backyard. They're going to put a brand new fence up around the whole thing. 
we're kind of stuck with the flooring that they chose and the cabinet tops that they chose because they've already purchased it for the house. Um, they're in, it's an independent solo builder. He builds one house at a time and they purchase everything in advance. And so that's going to be all right with us. We'll just take what we get. Um, but uh, we did put a bid in on it and um, we'll find out in the next few Day. days. Probably by tomorrow. Hopefully by tomorrow if we get it. Right now we're the only ones that have looked at it. <laughs> Which is great because every time we've gone to look at anything, it gets into a bidding war and we don't even, we are unable to bid above because the prices are just so high right now and it's uh, a miracle to us. Well, you, we you found know. something this low price that we could get with nobody else bidding on it. <laughs> so anyway, anyway uh, wish us luck on that and uh, we'll let y'all know what happens. But uh, sorry so, for no updates. We're, we're not giving up on RVing, but mm -hmm. to be honest, you know, I know I don't look it, but I'm a, almost 70 years old. Can y'all believe that? And I'm almost 60. And I get tired of moving every two weeks. And after six months, for the most part, moving every two weeks. Well, and the reason we move every two weeks is because we stay at Corps of Engineering because we get all those sites half price, yeah, which keeps it very affordable, to, very affordable to RV. So we still will be RVing. Um, it's just that now our videos will be about different things, like what are we going to do if we get the house, and we might show you that Here. we're pouring the concrete slab for, and putting for, in the metal RV port. For the RV port. What color are we going to paint the walls? and. It'll be new and exciting for us. It's a town I've never even heard of. We did some research on the builder. We did research on the little town. Uh, talked to some people that lived in the town. The realtor was familiar with the town. My sister even has heard of the town. Um, and so we'll let you guys know if we get it. And at that time, we'll show you a cute little picture. Little gray house, tiny little front porch, tiny little back porch. It'll be a tiny little yard. Um, but it's perfect for us. Gives us a place for our RV, a small backyard for the dog. And it's um, not the three to five acres or right on a lake, which is what I imagined happening. But <laughs> what was available and affordable before the house sold is not available and affordable now. And so things change. Yeah. And uh, change. I was listening to uh, the news on the radio the other day. And they were talking about possibly oh, yes. them taking uh, interest rates. taking the the reins off and allowing the interest rates to rise. And we kind of wanted to get a place before the interest rates start rising because get it in a little two and a half percent. Yeah, well, for, it's two point seven five is the best we can do right now, which is and, pretty good. And we might. And we might get three and a half. I mean, somewhere between 2.75 and three and a half is probably what we'll get. But that beats the heck out of 5%, you know? My loan was 6% when I bought my house in 2005, and that's as slow as it would get. <laughs> so this is pretty good. So anyway, um, we appreciate y'all still rolling with us. We will, like we said, continue to RV, um, but it won't be every two weeks. Um, we did hit several states, but we will hit more states, yeah. especially once COVID takes a break. That's part of it too. COVID. I mean, we know people. We know, we know people all around that are getting COVID, and these are people that are being cautious. And uh, I have family members and friends fully vaccinated that are getting the breakthrough COVID. My sister and her husband fully vaccinated just got breakthrough COVID. A dear friend of mine right now. Uh, just found out today. She's sick right now, but she doesn't know if it's COVID or not. We're praying it's not. Um, but uh, several people I used to work with have COVID right now. And um, so we're praying for all those people. So between the crazy weather, I know fires on this side, floods over here, hurricanes. Hurricanes over here, and tornadoes up there. You know, we kind of just want to take a break right now. And um, Plus, some of y'all may have seen our video about us almost losing this trailer in the flash, in the flash flood. flood so it's like 
All right, let's step back. Let's. And two of the RV parks where we were had tornadoes come through, and where we left from in Illinois, and we were supposed to go to Missouri. They're all being. They're getting rain. A lot of rain right now, and in Tennessee, the floods out there from the hurricane. So, we just want to step back and take a little break, and then we'll go to different states um, as COVID lifts, as the fires are out, and the smoke is gone. You know. One at a time. My sister, my mom, my nieces and nephews, we want to go visit all of them. But uh, better days are ahead. We still love what we do. Um, so now you're going to be seeing a few different videos from us. We'll show you the uh, full-time campground where we're going tomorrow. We'll be there if we get the house and no one else bids on it and we get it. We might be there, what, two to three months? Maybe. Six, six to eight weeks is what... The builder is saying it'll take to finish. So and we'll see. There's always setbacks. But yeah, it could rain. It could start raining. You know, whatever. So I'm saying two to three months. Um, so we'll still be shooting a lot of videos. But again, uh, thank you all for rolling with us. Thank you for your condolences on our dog. And we wish the best for all of y'all as well. If there's any way we can, I'm getting emotional over dog. <laughs> Over my dog. I'm sorry. If there's any way we can pray for you, please let us know. Everybody be safe. Take care of yourself. And thanks for rolling with the Parkers. Sorry, I get emotional about my dog. <laughs> we miss her.